Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a menu block inside your Squarespace website. Now at the time of recording this, this is a premium feature available for business and commerce plans. I'm gonna walk you through how to add this menu block to your website and then how to edit the content inside. Now all of this is done using the latest version of Squarespace, but this menu block is also available in older versions. So if you're still on version seven, Adding the block of content will look a little bit different, but everything about that content block will be exactly the same. Now let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and although I'm using the latest version 7.1, this tutorial will work for any version, even older sites. I do want to mention the menu is a premium feature for business or commerce plans. If you're using a personal plan, you can't have a menu block. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to add the block, we're going to update the content and then we'll customize the colors and fonts. And all of this is done from edit mode. I'm going to hop into edit mode and scroll down to this page section. Now I'm using a fluid engine page section, so I'll need to click add block. But however you add a content block, whatever version you're using, just go to add a block and you'll get the same menu here. Now scrolling down to the very bottom, we'll see menu as a premium feature. I'm going to click on menu and it'll add all of the demo content to my site. Now I'm using Fluid, so I just pulled it over to the side so we can see what's happening here. If you double click on this menu, you'll be taken to the content menu for the menu block. And this is where we add the items, the descriptions, and all of that stuff. Now before we change that, I wanna show you how this works. I'll go ahead and select Save. And if we scroll down to our page here, you can see when we click on Drinks, we'll be given different content. Meals takes us to this content, Drinks takes us to this one, and that's how a menu block works. So we're going to be editing that content. Let's hop back into edit mode, double click on the menu, and I'll pull this over to the side so we can see what we're doing. Let me scoot my screen down a little bit. There we go. Now, right out of the gate, you're probably gonna wanna change this content. Make this a new page by changing that label there. Maybe instead of sandwiches, you want it to be appetizers. And then you can even remove all of this old content and add your own. Let's go ahead and add a title. We'll enter a new line and this will be the description. And then we'll enter a new line and make this the price. So let's say that appetizer is $18. Let's add a second one. I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard twice and we'll say second. I'll enter a new line and type another one for the description there. And for this price, let's make this $80, a ridiculously expensive appetizer. And now you'll see that that content is updated on my menu. Again, you can remove anything that you want. You can even add new pages if you want to. Let's say we wanna put another one at the very front. I'll enter a new line that says first, and then I'll hit the equal sign three times on my keyboard and check it out. The first page has now been created. I had to hit enter on my keyboard to separate this new page down here, but I can add a new section by saying section and then enter three dashes on my keyboard and now we'll have a new section. And after that, I can have a title. We'll want to hit enter again to separate it from that page. There we go. Now I'll add a new line and here we can have an item title, description, and again, a price point. Let's make this $24. So as you can see, it's really easy to add new content. If you need any help with the formatting, click on the formatting help tab. This will walk you through all of those options. I recommend changing the demo content, but if you click on formatting help, you can add your own. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this first page here that we just created. And we'll click on the design tab to see what kind of design options we have. You can change the currency symbol to Euro, pound, yen, or dollar. And then here we have multi-column or centered. If you leave it centered, it's going to stack all of the items. If you leave it to multi-column, you'll have two columns of options here. Those are your main design options built into this menu, but we can change the font and colors using our site styles menu. But before we jump into that, a quick recap, you select add block if you're using Fluid Engine or however you add a content block in whatever version you're using, scroll down to the bottom and click on menu. Once you have your menu, double click and you'll be able to make changes to the content in this section here, changes to the design right here, this tab here that gives you all kinds of details on how to actually write the content so it looks great in your menu. Now let's change those fonts and colors. I'm gonna click this paintbrush icon to navigate to my site styles menu. If I select fonts and scroll down to the bottom, I can select assign styles. Now, if I click on this menu right here, 
This is going to narrow down my options so I can edit that specific menu. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and change the navigation font. If I click on miscellaneous, I can actually select a custom font family and even change the size. If I use this right here, you'll notice that the size of those navigation links got way bigger. I can also say, hey, let's make them all uppercase. Fun option there. I can even change the font family to a different font family by selecting browse all fonts and grabbing any font that I want from the list. Let's say we want it to be super fancy. I'll click on this one and there we go. Now it's changed. That's kind of hard to read. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And instead of that font family, we're going to go back to Poppins because I want it to be legible. There we go. I'll click back one more time and show you we were changing the menu nav font. Now we've got titles, item titles, item description, and menu item price. Maybe you want the price to be in bold. Click on that option and under style, select custom. And here you can change the weight of that price. My Poppins font family has a lot of different weights. If you don't see these options, try selecting a different font family. But here for this, I'm going to select 700 and now that price is bold. All right, let's go ahead and change up the colors before we're done with this tutorial. One last time as a reminder, I hopped into my site styles menu. I selected fonts and then scrolling down to the bottom here, I selected assign styles and I clicked on the menu itself to narrow down this list to only the fonts in the menu. Now let's go ahead and change the colors. We'll navigate back. We'll select colors and I'm in the lightest one color section. So if I click on lightest one, I can once again click on my menu and it will narrow down all of my options here. Pretty rad, right? Now for menu nav color, if I click on this, I can grab a color from my color palette or choose a custom one. Let's go with like a vibrant purple. There we go. Now, how about the title for these different sections here? I can select menu title and we can change that to a color from my palette or again, pick a custom one. Maybe a vibrant green is perfect for my color scheme. Super customizable. Again, that was under colors. I select the lightest one color theme because that's the color for this page section. And then all I had to do was click on the menu and it narrowed down my menu block options. After you've made all the changes that you want to see, make sure you save your work. Alrighty, that's it for this overview of creating a menu block in your Squarespace website. I've outlined all of the steps that we went through in the description below and included a link to that cheat sheet that has information on exactly how to format that specific block. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Everything you need to know about Squarespace, all in one place, inside the square. I've taught thousands of Squarespacers how to create and customize their websites, and I'm ready to teach you. At insidethesquare.co forward slash start, you'll learn everything you need to know to build your brand new website using Squarespace. If you're a fan of step-by-step -step tutorials and PDFs packed full of important information, you're going to love it. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start to get started. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start.